Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great with another server how-to. Just a reminder, this series is aimed at fellow members of this server. These are not generally applicable tutorials, but they are mainly to show off various builds that are on the server and provide a little bit of a setup for new people that do happen to come on the server but this is a private whitelisted server and it is aimed primarily at co-workers that also happen to play minecraft so we are not accepting applications at this time um, so if you are not a member of this server you can treat this as a world tour um, feel free to continue watching that is perfectly fine but if you are a member um, this is just to let you know, today's episode is on how to use the witch farm, okay? Uh, it is pretty simple to use. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to come down the nether tunnel to my base. This is Soap's base, okay? Because the witch farm is right close to my base. Um, and instead of going through this portal, we're going to go off to the side here and... You know I keep meaning to change that sign. Let's just take care of that now. Here we go. Instead of saying the witch farm is now open, we'll just say witch farm. And there we go. Better to take care of it now. Okay, so now we're going to go down this little hallway. And we'll come in here. And this guy is just to reduce the number of zombie pigmen that um, hang out around here. And you'll see why in a moment. As we go through this portal, okay, a little bit of server lag there, that's fine. We've got one out here too. While you are using the witch farm, zombie pigmen do happen to spawn. Sometimes they go back through the portal, and that's why we have the iron golem on the other side. I usually have two. One just happens to walk through the portal on a regular basis, and he does not like going back through the portal. So. We'll just leave him here. He takes care of the ones that do happen to spawn. So that's cool. So occasionally you will get the all-important rotten flesh. Lovely. And um, occasionally a gold nugget or two, depending on uh, how long you're up here. Um, usually those happen to despawn. But uh, occasionally you get them. But if you go through and there are pigment over there, that guy will take care of it. But that is not the focus of this tutorial. We are looking at the witch farm. And you may be wondering, where is the witch farm? We are in this ugly contraption up in the sky, just cobblestone. Well, the witch farm is actually, and I'm shifting to minimize the chance of falling. The witch farm is actually down there um, in the middle of that platform there. You can see the water cover on the top, and the witch farm itself is under there. So the reason we are up here is because of the mob spawning characteristics and the fact that I do not want to light up all of the caves that are in this whole perimeter. And this is a rather large perimeter on the surface. So no mobs actually spawn on the surface anymore, but uh, they do spawn down in the caves. So we just come up to Y equals 160, I believe it is. 140, okay. 160 was too much. The witches were despawning. So we come up to 140, and that is what we're doing up here. So the main way to use the witch farm is just to go AFK, that is away from keyboard. And because that is rather boring, I did add this extra thing up here. It was one of the first server how-tos that I put, and that is the AFK fishing farm. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of my stuff here. Um, anything of importance. We'll leave a little bit of stake. This is just in case something bad, something terrible, absolutely terrible happens. And I, or my character, happens to die while I am AFK. Okay, so all my stuff is still there. And we'll leave that. And what we're going to do is chuck some dirt down again. If, in case a zombie happens to spawn and that iron golem does not do his job, um, the zombie cannot get to the door and open it. And, uh, and there we go. So um, the next thing you're going to do is you just pick a fishing rod out. And um, I've got this nice one. And I'm just going to sit here overnight. Okay. 
Uh, I'm not going to record that whole process because that would be rather boring. But uh, what we're going to do is we are going to take a look at how to harvest the drops from the witch farm. And the reason I'm going overnight is because I checked the drops the other day and found that between Caleb and myself, we have pretty much collected all of the drops lately. So I'm going to sit here and do a little bit more. And there has been some cave lighting recently, so um, the spawning rates should increase. So we'll see, we should see a decent amount of drops below in the morning. But uh, for now, I'm just going to get started with this and uh, then we'll go from there, okay? So I will bring you back in the morning and uh, we'll go take a look at those. All right, back in a bit. All right, we are back, ladies and gentlemen, and it is the next morning, so... I am going to turn this thing off, put the fishing rod in there, and then just do a little cleanup. And what we're going to do is we're going to go get the drops from the witch farm, okay? So let me collect all my stuff here, because there was quite a bit. We'll make sure all this goes down here. See our iron golem is still hanging out. This is good. Let's just see what kind of loot we got. We'll put the fishing rods back in. Just return these to... Or not return them, because those these were pulled from the fishing farm itself. So we'll just put these back in. It kind of It starts replenishing itself after a while. Oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one right there. Put that in. Okay. So, those will be the ones that show up first. Let's see if there are any only unbreaking, we're going to replace it. There we go. And we've got more fishing rods. Okay, just enough. Just enough. Okay, and other than that, let's see, power three, fire aspect, whoop-de-doo. Okay, but our point is not the fishing farm loot. Our point is the witch farm loot. So, there's a couple ways down. You can do the little water drop here, which I'm going to do. You want to step off slightly because there is... Um, Gosh, is there... No, you can hit the top of the ladder, though. That That's not too fun. You lose a few, few health points. Just make sure everything is cool here. Let's go back away, see if we can get some spawns. I don't know if it will. Maybe when we're down in the farm itself. Okay. Somebody may have been here. I don't know. So, you come down these two ladders. So you, you have to leave the uh, platform in the sky. You come down these two ladders. And then all of the loot is going to be in these chests. Okay? And it gets automatically sorted out. So you have redstone here. There, no, no. There was no... There were no witch drops. Or maybe there were very few. I don't know what the deal is. Well, that's that's almost well. There were relatively few. So. Hmm. <laughs> so that means that it could be somebody is taking up the mob cap. No, there shouldn't be an issue. Well, I gotta think about that one. But anyway, that's where you get the witch drops, and uh, assuming this thing starts working again. And uh, it's redstone and glowstone, those are the main ones, but also gunpowder if you want to do some TNT. But, uh,. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure this one out. Anyway, 
that's it for this tutorial and if you enjoyed it think about putting a thumbs up on it it helps me out if you really enjoyed well I mean these are the other server members so never mind um, so anyway that is it for this one and we'll see what we do next time okay but until then thanks for watching talk to you later bye bye